Oh, there are three of them. Okay. There are three of them. Here, well, uh... Hang on. No, do that. Checkbox. A6 statue. Check. Two, two were question marks. Well, that was to all the way to the right, so maybe I should explore over to the left and center areas in order to find that. That. I should just go heal again. I'm just gonna go heal again. Speaking of checkboxes here, right? Now that I think about this. Oh, okay, fine. You zoom out. Ten weights. Codices. Uh, you need a checkbox, and you need a checkbox. This one I can check. All right, back to the roots. Ish. I bet they are. I bet they are, Dan. That's what I'm gonna look for. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Oops. Uh, that's also true now that I'm up here. But D4, right? So I gotta go this way and down. The wall didn't budge an inch. I did that already, right? Yeah, there was an eye, I closed it. I'm good. Okay. Can I break this wall down here? Let me look. No. Alright, this is the way I want to go. Right, 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 right. Okay. Yep, the mantras. I got that. Aha! Okay. Oh, good. Good. Wait, in bottom left. Oops, no, not you. Remo just remove the to-do tag. Okay. There, actually enter. Wait in bottom left. Yep. Check that off. What does the tablet say? Uh. Oh boy. Okay. <sighs> this is gonna be a thing. Hmm. So another another thing that's pointing me upwards, basically. Wanting me to go up to the treetops. Let me go back down here real quick. Anything important? There's a door. Where am I at? No, I think I've been I've been here already, yeah. Yeah. No, I haven't. Well, okay. Okay. Shop. I'll I'll check which one it is. X5. Oh, wait, I messed up then. This here. This, yeah, weights. It's X5. Keep track of the price and stuff too. Shurikens, X10. 10. 10. Guild. 50. That comes later. I don't have the money for that yet. Now, what room am I in again? On two. Some D E. Yep. 
So you all can see how convoluted and disorganized my notes end up being. Mm -hmm. That's how it. That's how it works. Ooh, this is interesting. That's how I. That's how I always end up doing things. New message. That's the candle. Oh, candlestick for time. Looks different from the one in Lava Lana. Right, but I need the lamp of time. There must be one somewhere. Well, I understand. Yeah, I just sometimes I kind of forget to go back and reread my old notes. That's the thing. And so I, I stumble around a little bit, but we'll see. Doesn't matter right now. And he, oh yeah, he does say, best to remember things don't matter now for later, you know? Thank you, I know. This is E4, okay. Okay, make, just to make, make that clear. Here. E4. Lamp of time refill. That comes later. I guess I can fall down there, right? I guess so. No. Platform? Yes. Aha, gotcha. And I healed. I want to read that tablet, but I, I gotta get up there. Here. Mm-hmm. Alright, hold on. Again, I've gotta move this this shit down. That was where where did that go? There. I'm still at E four, right? Yeah, E4. Fenner exiled two branches of Eggrana. They are the negative counterparts we birth. Yeah. So there's probably two sides to the ruins like before. Okay. Can't go that way. This way. You. Need more weights. Should have bought more at the shop. Okay, that's fine. Thank you for the reminder. Doesn't look like weights are necessary right here. It's an awful lot of these torches, though. It's odd. Seeking blue light sees flash, protecting all that cold steel alone may pass unscathed. Okay. Was that doing damage? I didn't see anything that looked like damage. Put a note here. E5. Cold steel can pass through blue barrier. Try tossing shurikens. Nothing seemed to happen. Maybe I'll find something else that will do something. I'm gonna uh, adjust this a little, just to make sure I can see uh, how much of my webcam space I'm taking up, mostly. There is definitely something down there, but I can't figure out how to get down there. It says Seer's Flesh, right? So if I walk into it, well, like, oh, wait a minute. Yes, okay, well, I will take damage if I walk into it. Did I miss this? This was under the pot, wasn't it? Move quickly in case of trap. Not a trap. Oh, it opens the way down. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I 
this leads me up to what D5, which I was at before. Right. Okay. Well, anyway, let's do, let's go. Uh, let's go looking for. Let's go looking for those other statues. Not that one. Over right this one. Got the seal. Yep. Up there. We gotta go up there. So I gotta hit that pedestal in the top left. Batch. I messed that jump up. Hang on. Fuck. Okay, I'll go back up in a minute. But I need money. Anyway, that uh, that guild program that was in the shop, right? I believe what that does is it like uh, plays a sound when you're in a room with a shop. But I think combining it with other programs made it do other things. But I don't definitely don't have any of those yet. Barrier's gone. Good. Aha. And then this way, and up the ladder. What does this say? Oh yeah, the trickster. Mm -hmm. There's another, okay, good, good. Whip. Whoa, hang on, what is that doing? Oh, balls. Um, can I just leave? Yeah, I can just leave. There's some really amazing beasties out there. Room guards protect the most important rooms in the ruins. Taking them out might get you somewhere, but you might need to get your strength up before taking down the big bad ones. You know, the HP, tough weapons, stuff like that, and confidence. I don't really have any of that right now. This is definitely an important thing to, to keep track of. A4. Oh fuck. Nidhog. We'll just uh, mark that as a to do. Yeah. Nidhog, okay. First encounter. I ran because no. <laughs> Not right now, please. Not right now. Okay, A6 statue, A4 statue, check. Presumably A2 statue is where we're going next. I can't go that way. You know what? Um I'm gonna warp back to the back to the uh, Grail tablet just so I can save again. Did I forget that tablet? No. I think the flashing tab flashing tablets are ones you haven't read yet. I think that's what it means. Rooms are full of mystery. I'm gonna leave the crypt moving forward, I'm gonna leave the cryptic mumbo jumbo for later. Didn't think I'd move all the way forward to the next life though. So, yeah, it, that's the answer handy. If it seems cryptic, just save it for later. It'll meet make sense later. Oh boy! Oh boy, okay. What room am I in? I'll write this down. B3. This will also be a checkbox. B3. Okay. Path protecting Sekhmet. Protected by. Five mantras. So, different mantras for different bosses. Yeah, um, either way, mantras maybe not for big in game 
puzzle again. Remember I was talking about earlier finding spells and stuff to unseal the mother and give her physical form and shit? That's what the uh, mon that's what the mantras were before. I did I did notice down here is that same that same symbol on the seal before, and I know that was those seals were a thing in, in Lemulana one. See that that one there, but I can't recall which one they are. That because they were numbered, but I don't remember which was which. Yep, here we are. A two skulls root. I know skull. Okay. Rodotosker gnaws on the roots before heading to the treetop. Okay. A2. Rattatusker gnaws on Skull's root here. Root Oops. continues toward the future. So, when I break this, I mean, there's a root right there, directly above me. When I break this statue, am I going to have to fight the squirrel again? I bet I am. Ow. Out of, the, out of the water, please. Hang on, hang on. That might be bad. Yep, here we go. Hello! Hey, I can see his health! That's right, that's because that's I bought the thing that lets me see the health. Ow. My god. Ouch. And I died. Okay, that's fine. That's why I saved. Mm. Maybe I should... Since I just saved, you know, why not pop up and go heal a bit? If I can... I'll see if I can clear this area, or give it one more hour, and then I'll probably stop for the evening. Because I gotta get myself some dinner... and other stuff. I don't think so. I don't think I'll continue streaming this for the night right now. Might come back to it later when I get the chance because I do like this sort of game. I'm having a good time so far. All right. Yeah. Okay. Which which shop? The uh, the shop in the ruins? You know, I did find that one. Yeah. I got- I bought most of what was in it. Most of it. Ow. Why are you spinning boulders? With lava? Well, I have shuriken, so... whatever. I can't throw these as fast as I could before. Damn it! Stop that! I seem to have locked him into a pattern, so I just need to make my own pattern. Fuck you, demon squirrel. I'm smarter than demon squirrels. Never mind. I, I that wasn't smarts. That was timing it wrong. That was my fault. That was that was me messing up the buttons. That is not a matter of smart. Squirrels can push buttons if you train them well enough, I suppose. Right? Anyone can push buttons. But if I can if I can make that happen again, then I'll have this. I'll have this taken care of. Not programmed terribly intelligently, are you? Then again, I'm messing up the timing, so I can't talk much. Oops. Definitely messed that up. There were a few bosses in the first game that could be cheesed like this, too. I'm using a lot of shuriken, but they're not too hard to find, and they're pretty cheap to buy. Please actually die this time. Damn it! All right, well, let me let me take a save. Make a save here. Not save. Make a note here. Tags to do. I fought him again. He ran again. 
Recurring mid boss. Yay. Check. Let's see what's in this room over here. What do you got? That gate's the same to use to end same one used to enter Eglata. Cannot be opened without a race because in the mother's various and some sort of power related to the mother. It can also be opened by undoing some kind of mechanism, so you'll have to use your head. Alright, so I'll make a note of this door up here. Alright? So it's sure I can uh yeah. Okay. Right, so where was the uh the gate was D4, right? Yeah. So let's see here. D4 led to... Right? Yeah, here. D4, Gate of Illusion. A3. A1, we don't know. A5, we don't know. Not five. Not five, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Was there one with Nidhogg as well? Was there a ladder there? I'll check it when I decide to go back and fight a dragon. I don't care right now. Do I want to use up one way to go read that skeleton? Yes, I do. Switch deep in the hole in the floor. Somebody bring me a stick. Try to push it, my hand got stuck and I, stuck and I up and died. High five. What? Hold on, what? Switch deep in the hole in the floor. This one. Can I drop a weight on it? No. He is right, though. I see the switch. I just can't hit it. Let's, let's, let's make a note of that. Hang on. Again. Move this. Whoops. Undo, please. Stop that. Oops, okay. Messed that up. Okay. I guess doing it like this, it does it is nice, it kinda keeps it keeps track of it in chronological order. Keep let's keep track of what I've done as I've discovered things. Uh hang on. You. Okay, A1 switch in the floor. Can't poke it yet. Should open gate. Alrighty, let's just uh let's warp again to here. Save. I've been in Roots of Yggdrasil for a couple of hours, it seems. That's okay. This way, right? I'll get the hang of this place. I'll remember where everything is soon enough. Here. Yes. Okay. I can now... Here. Yep, it is A2 statue. Okay, and I am now moving into area C6. That's where I'm going. Let's, yep, drop on in. That's right. Okay, there he is. There's the statue that I need to break. Okay, C6. There's the guy. There's the statue. Dripping on him. Gonna break it. Bad idea, but necessary. Oh! That's... that's the Ankh. Oops. That there is an Ankh. Using an onk jewel in front of the onk will release the guardian. That's one of the ma one of the major bosses of the game. So, statue in there looks I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. It looks different. 
But hey, okay. I... Okay, bad idea, but necessary. Actually spawned... Bonk. Boss time. <laughs> 